All right, y'all. Peace and blessings. God bless you all. I'm Jarvis Kingston, and I hope that y'all doing all right and staying strong and solid in these times that we're in. I pray that you have repented and that you are baptized. I pray that you are safe, protected, and prayed up. And I just pray that whatever situation that you're going through, that the Lord is with you, that he guides you, protects you, he looks out for you, he comforts you. I pray that your mental health gets better and that you become more strong and wise in the Lord. I pray that you keep fighting the good fight of faith. You keep running your race. You keep your eyes fixed on the prize. You keep your eyes fixed on the Messiah. You stay on that narrow path. And you help out plenty of people along your journey forevermore. Amen. Most definitely, y'all. Take it one day at a time, people. Amen. Yes, yes, y'all. I appreciate all of you for listening. Support it means a lot to me. I love you all. Praying for you all. Okay, let's always uplift each other in the Lord. Let's always encourage each other in Christ. Amen. Yes, yes, y'all. Let us thank the Lord for another day. Let us thank the Lord for waking us up and giving us another chance to seek his face. Let us thank the Lord for food in our belly, closing our back, and a roof over our head. And let's just thank the Lord for protecting us coming in and going out. Let's just thank him for his grace, mercy, his favor, his love, his power, his strength, his spirit, his might, his outstretched arm, his mighty hand, the finger of God, his word, his only begotten son dying for our sins. Just so much things the Lord has done for us. We can't even keep count of it. Amen. So we have to stay grateful and appreciative. Even when things are looking a little crazy and a little murky, you still trust in the Lord through it all. Amen. God walked by faith and not by sight. The just shall live by faith. Amen. And we know that the Lord will never leave us nor forsake us. Okay. So we trust him through all things. Amen. Most definitely, y'all. Uh, brothers and sisters in the faith, stay strong, people. Stay strong. Hang in there. Amen. Hang in there. You got it. Yes, yes. Welcome, everyone. All peoples, all nations, all tribes, all languages, all tongues, all races, all faces, all four corners of the earth, all kindreds. Yes, let everything that has breath praise the Lord. All the animals, all the creatures, all the beasts, all the fishes in the sea, all the birds in the air, all the mountains, all the trees, all the plants. Let all of God's creation praise him. Hallelujah. Most definitely, y'all. Whether you are an Israelite or a Gentile, it is all right. Whether you are chosen or adopted, it is all right. Let us gather together and praise the Lord, sing a new song, clap our hands, play an instrument, stomp our feet, dance, worship in spirit and truth, and serve him with gladness and joy. Rejoice, always rejoice. Amen. Hallelujah. Got to stay strong. Got to stay together, people. People, most definitely, y'all. Always have that unity, that harmony, that peace, that love, that cooperation, just all of that. Amen. Most definitely, y'all. Let us love the Lord our God forever, our mind, heart, soul, strength, and might. Let us love our neighbors as we love ourselves. And let us keep doing Father's business and Father's will for the rest of our lives until his son comes back. Amen. Hallelujah. He has come back like a thief in the night. He has come back at an hour nobody knows but the Father. He has come back for a people who are ready to go. Spotless, blameless, no spot, no wrinkle, no blemish, no filth, no abominable, no abominable thing, no detestable thing. None of that can enter the new Jerusalem. Amen. So let us be washed up by the water, by the word. So when he comes back, we are presented and ready to go. Let us keep our lamps. Let us keep our oil. Let us stay watchful, prayed up. All right. And always doing the works that the Messiah told us to do, people, most definitely. Let us draw near to God, and he will draw near to us, people, okay? Most definitely, let us obey the gospel. Let us obey the law, statutes, and commandments. Let's just know him better, people. Let's just keep seeking his face and obey all of his word. Whatever the Most High told you personally or confirmed to you, any affirmations or any confirmations, whatever, according to your personal life, your situation, or the near future, obey that as well. Respect the amen. Most definitely, y'all. So I hope that you all had a blessed week, a blessed weekend, blessed Sabbath, all of that. Okay, so we're stepping into a new moon, a new season. So um, hope that you all are taking it one day at a time, people. All right, new season that begins for many people. It's the end of the year. So around this end of the year, it could be pretty good and nice and fortunate for certain people. And other times it could be pretty hard, depending on people's situations. But all in all, take it one day at a time with the Lord, people, and cry out to him, call on his name, just you know, just seek his face, people, okay? Turn from our ways, hallelujah. All right, so in today's message, what I'm going to do is read this church note from Jen DeLeon. I'm going to go through this church note, and then from there, we'll close out with a prayer, we'll close out with a priestly blessing, and we'll close out giving all the praise, honor, and glory to the Most High God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and praise his only begotten Son who died for our sins. Amen, hallelujah. So here we go with the church note. The title of the church note is titled, Never Give Up on Love. This is a great message on singleness, healing, and being open to love. The truth about being single, part two. Too often we abandon who God created us to be because we don't feel it's worked yet, and we feel taken advantage of and feel our kindness was mistaken for weakness. God says you cannot leave yourself because if you do not quit, you're going to reap a harvest I've already designed for you. Do you have a weight on you? The weight is strengthening you. You've got to push through what you're going through. Anybody stressing over some things, the level of your stressing is the level of your blessing. 
There's some things you're praying for him to do, but you don't see him doing it. Most of the time, we don't see what God is doing. Do you realize how many things he sets up behind the scenes before we can even visualize the manifestation that took years of planning? We serve a God who is behind the scenes of your life, orchestrating situations, setting up solutions. So even if you don't see it right now, praise him like you believe he's in your corner and is setting things up. If I don't know how to be one with me, how can I be one with you? The book of Galatians chapter 6 verse 9. Let us not become weary in doing good, for at the proper time of due season we will reap a harvest if we do not give up. When you don't know you're one of one, you tolerate too much stuff and you tolerate too many people and live beneath the power of your calling. In order to be a great dater, you have to become a great evaluator. Separate what works from what doesn't. Evaluate who belongs in your life and adding value and who doesn't. If you're not currently in a relationship, you may be losing hope that God is going to bring love to your field. And as a result, you're about to give up before you get a chance to reap what is already ordained for you. Never give up on love. God is love. If we only want to be with someone at any cost, we will allow some people into our field who will wreck our service because we believe we'd be better with somebody instead of being by ourselves until the right person shows up. If you believe being with someone is going to improve your life, if you want someone to do for you that you won't do for yourself, you're in trouble. It's not about being with someone. It's about being with the right somebody, someone who is in alignment with your value. The wrong person can disrupt the harvest. We date down because we don't feel valued or worthy and lower our standards. If you're single, it's not because something's wrong with you. It's because you're selective. Take ownership of your decision-making process. Just because you're by yourself doesn't mean you don't have options. We allow the pain of what didn't work to close us off to love. If you give up now, you will miss your harvest. We spend so much time looking for love, not realizing we already have it. You won't evaluate well if you don't feel the truth of who you are. Why are you worried about the last person and tried on? This person used the example of finding a shoe, but it didn't fit, and then eventually you'll find the one that does fit. Even in the pain, I will remain open, so I'm ready to receive the love I know I have sown. The scripture says what you sow, you reap. It doesn't say you sow and is who you will reap from. We sowed love into a situation that didn't work, and because it didn't work, we get mad thinking God isn't going to let us reap love. God says, I saw your heart. I saw your integrity. I saw your character. You handled it the best way you could. You have sown love, and you're going to reap every good thing you've sown, even if it's not from the person you sowed it, sowed it into. You've got to get healed from what didn't work so you can get ready for what God is getting ready to deliver to you. You know your value, you know your worth, and the last time you allowed someone to devalue you into your field, why would you let that person in again? This is why you got to get out of the belief that being by yourself is lonely. You can be with someone and be lonely. We don't take time to allow ourselves to heal from what we've been through. One of the reasons why you and I may not be where we could be is because we're not giving ourselves time to heal from the last time it didn't work. You find so much identity in who you were with that you lost, you you lost who you were to begin with. You went into something and you just lost yourself and didn't know who you were, what you like, where you want to go, what you didn't do because you gave everything and in the process lost yourself. Being closed off to love will leave you open to manipulation. Somebody shows us who they are and we want them to be someone different. So we create a narrative to change who they really are into who we want them to be. Anybody that says they're too busy to return a call or a text, they are telling you that you're not a priority. It takes 10 seconds to say, hey, busy, hit you in a day. And that's okay. Acknowledge reality instead of trying to create a fantasy on the delusion of someone showing you who they are that they're really not. You've got to become an accurate thinker because your inaccuracies in your thinking is leaving you open to manipulation. There's no reason why you should have spent this much time with somebody who let you know who they were in the beginning. We find our value in our achievements, career, relationships, and everyone and everything outside of ourselves. If we put our value in anyone or anything outside of us, we will never feel the value we were created to feel. You have to know that regardless of what you do and your profession and achievements, you are valuable. It's not about what didn't work. It's about what's going to work. As God brings love into your field because of your previous situation, you can't treat the new person like the old person. The new person didn't do what the old person did, so don't react to the new person the way you would react to the old person. Allow the new person to show you who they are without them feeling like they have to unpack reactions to them. New person, that's to them, the old person. Amen. All right. So that is a church note from Jen DeLeon. All right. 
Never give up on love, people, okay? A lot of people are dealing with loneliness and singleness and uh, feeling vulnerable, what have you, but our relationship with the Most High is very important, and also the people we also have relationships with are important as well, okay? So let the Lord lead you. Let the Lord uh, guide your steps into His will and closer to Him all in all, amen? So there you have it, all right? What I would love to do as I close out this church note is give all the praise, honor, and glory to the Most High God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and praise His only begotten Son who died for our sins, amen? Hallelujah. So here we go. Hallelujah, y'all. Praise him, y'all. He is the Lord of all, the Lord of glory, the Lord of lords, the man from heaven, the man of sorrows, the mediator of the new covenant, the mediator, the messenger of the covenant, the Messiah, the mighty God, the mighty one, the morning star, the Nazarene, the offspring of David, the only begotten son of God, our great God, our savior, our holiness, our spiritual husband, our Passover, our protection, our redemption, our righteousness, our sacrificed Passover lamb, the power of God, the precious cornerstone, the prince of kings, the prince of life, the prince of peace, the prophet, the redeemer, the resurrection of life, the resurrection, the resurrected, the life, the revelation, the revelator, the righteous branch, the righteous one, the radiant one, the perfect example, the rock, the root of David, the rose of Sharon, the rule of God's creation, the rule of the kings of the earth, the savior, the seed of woman, the shepherd and bishop of souls, the Shiloh, the son of Abraham, the son of David, the son of God, the son of man, son of the blessed, son of the most high God, the source of eternal salvation for all who obey him the son of righteousness, the just one, the one mediator, the stone the builders rejected, the true bread, the true God, the true light, the true vine. Yes, he is the truth. Amen. He is the way. Hallelujah. He is the way, truth, the life. Praise him. The wisdom of God, the witness, the wonderful counselor, the word, the word of God, the word of life, the word of Yahuwah, the word of Elohim, the word of Yeshua HaMashiach, the word of Yahweh Shai, the word of Yehoshua, Yehusha, Yeshua, the word of Adonai, most definitely. His word is purified silver, just as David said in Psalms. And his word is a double-edged sword, just the book of Hebrews says. Amen. We touch and agree. We are in agreement with the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Most definitely, y'all. Hallelujah. Praise him. The Lord is my portion. The Lord is my rock. The Lord is my strength. The Lord is my refuge. The Lord is my salvation. The Lord is my shield. The Lord is my salvation. The Lord is my redeemer. The Lord is my deliverer. The Lord is my branch. The Lord is my everything. The Lord our God is one. Most definitely the sustainer, the sufficient one. Hallelujah. Praise him. Yes. Yah, Yahweh, Yahuwah, Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Ben Yahweh, Yahai Yashai, Yeshua Hamashiach, Barakatha Shalawam Shalom, Yeshua Elohim, Yehosha Yahusha Yeshua, Ahai Yashaya, the consuming fire, the father of lights, the father of the fatherless, the father of widows, the father of mercies, most definitely the God of heaven and earth. His son sits at the right hand of him. The government rests on his shoulders. He is the great physician, can heal all things. He is the carpenter, can fix all things. With God, all things are possible. Nothing is too hard for the Lord. Amen. Most definitely. Yes, he created everything in six days and rested on the seventh day. He could fix your situation right now in the name of Jesus. We touch and agree most definitely, y'all. Praise him, y'all. Got to call on him. Faith is what pleases him, y'all. Call out on him, y'all. Call to him. His son is excellent for dying for our sins. His blood cleaned up our mess. Amen. He is the seed of Abraham, promise, the seed of Adam, humanity, the seed of David, kingship, the seed of God, deity, the seed of Jacob, nationality, the seed of Judah, tribe, the seed of Shem, race, the seed of woman, prophecy. We touch and agree. In the authority and power in the name of Jesus Christ, you are healed, renewed, restored, redeemed, forgiven, embraced, loved. New mind, new heart, new soul, new hands to prosper, new footsteps, new path, new journey, new seasons, new, new beginnings, new fresh starts, new anointing, new dreams, new visions, new song to sing. Yes. Renewed strength, y'all. Renewed strength, more stability, more firm, more diligence, more alert, more sober, more narrow path, more holiness, more purity, more innocence, more blameless, more spotlessness. Yes, double portion blessings from now on. Good results, good news, good results from now on for the rest of your life. In Jesus' name, we touch and agree. Amen. Yes, y'all. I just pray to God that whoever listens to this repent and get baptized and start their life over, people, okay? What I would love to do as I close out this message is give y'all the priestly blessing on the way out. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Shalom. I'm Jarvis Kingston. I love you all. Praying for you all. Peace.